Hey guys, it's Sadie, and I'm going to be shooting my first ever q and I've been wanting to do a QA and a forever, but I felt like I would not be able to get enough questions. So I said when I got 100 subscribers, I would give it a go. And I hit 100 subscribers, and that's crazy. Thank you to anyone who subscribed to me. I'm just going to get started with this video because I want to answer as many questions as possible. Okay, so Kiwi Pineapple asks, Would you rather strangle a candle with your bare hands? Or press a button and kill 10. Um, that's a pretty gruesome question to start with. <laughs> but, um, I love kittens. I would have to kill with one, even though it would be really hard to strangle it. So, I mean, I don't know if I'd be able to do it, but I, I can't kill 10 kittens. That's a lot of kittens. Next question. Would you rather date a boy who was a Hufflepuff? Or date a boy that was vegan? <laughs> that's a really funny question. Um... I thought about this for a while, and I think I'd rather date a Hufflepuff. Disclaimer, I have nothing against Hufflepuffs or vegans, but come on. Um, so yeah, I'd date a Hufflepuff, because if I dated a vegan, I feel like they'd want me to be vegan, and I just can't do that, but a Hufflepuff wouldn't try to make me Hufflepuff. And I'm a Ravenclaw myself, so like, I think Hufflepuff and Ravenclaws go pretty good together. And I could deal with it. And Hufflepuffs are loyal. So that's a really good thing. So I would date a Hufflepuff. What's your favorite TV series and why? So it used to be Doctor Who. And Doctor Who is still very high up there. But the last couple of seasons have been eh for me. But I still like it. So Doctor Who. Um, one of my current favorites is Stranger Things. I know. Such an unpopular opinion. Have you even heard of Stranger Things? But yeah, Stranger Things is just a really good show, and I want season 3, like, right now. I'm so impatient. The second I finish season 2, I'm like, win season 3. Favorite fast food? Um, I think I'm going to go up Taco Bell, because I freaking love Taco Bell. They're always coming out with new stuff that's really good, and they're one of the only fast food places where I like multiple things on the menu. When I go to most, like, fast food places, I only order, like, the same thing every time. But Chick-fil-A is also really high up on my fast food place because they're just really good quality. I love their lemonade. I love the waffle fries. And, yeah, they're really good. Favorite movie and why? Oh, it's so hard. I'm going to go up to Breakfast Club. I know that's not the most original answer. But it's just such a good movie. And I feel like, I just like how it was filmed in the 80s, but I feel like it's still relevant now. And there's like every stereotype in there, and it's just a fun movie, but then it gets really deep. And also like, lots of it was improv, and it doesn't seem improv, but I guess that's what made it like, feel so real and genuine. And I just love any John Hughes movie. John Hughes is amazing. What are some of your goals? So I just reached 110 subscribers. Um, right now I'm working on 150. And by the end of the year, I want to be at 300. But most of all, I just want to keep putting out content that I enjoy, keep uploading regularly, and have fun. That's, that's number one for me. Team Edward or Team Jacob? I haven't been asked this question since, like, 2013. But Team Jacob, obviously. I mean, he was the better match for Bella. Let's all be real here. And he's way cuter. I think Edward's. And one of my best friends in the world asked me, was I a good editor way back when I was your editor? So my first couple of videos, my friend Beth edited, edited for me. I think most of those are private right now, not because of her editing, because of me, they sucked. But, yeah, she was a good editor. Or, he was a good editor. Um, the reason I stopped is because there were specific things I wanted, so it was just easier to do it myself. And also, I felt bad making you edit every video, especially as you got busier, and I just wanted to edit my own. But yeah, you were a good editor. Thanks for that, Beth. Jessica Olivia asks, who's your favorite YouTubers? What was your favorite vacation? And what do you want to study? So my favorite YouTubers would have to be Dan Phil, the Gabby Show, Doddle Oggle, Dodi, whatever you want to call her. And then Gab the Gabby Show actually goes by Gabby Hanna right now. I just can't get used to that. Um, Amber Scholl. Those are the main ones right now. Uh, my favorite vacation is when I went on a cruise for about a week. I went to Mexico. Where else did they go? Honduras and Belize. 
and it was just so pretty in all those places and the cruise itself was fun that was my first cruise i really want to go on another one because that was so much fun as a for i want to study i want to study veterinary medicine because i want to be a vet because i like animals Animals are better than people most of the time. I really like this question. It's a very unique question, but Andy's diary, he has a really he has a really good YouTube but channel by the way, you should check him out. He said, if you get a phone call from a celebrity and they asked you if you wanted the job as their personal best friend, who would it be and what would your reaction be? So I thought really hard about what celebrity this would be. And I think it would either be Tom Holland or Joe Keery. And I would say, heck yeah. I probably would freak out. First of all, I would think it's a prank. But in the end, I would agree to it. And I would be an awesome best friend to them. It's Maze. She also has a really good YouTube channel. Asked, why did you start YouTube? And the reason, really, it's not some deep reason or anything. I just really loved YouTube myself. And when I love something that much, I want to try it myself. And I was like, hey, I can do this. And I just really wanted to do it. And I started it a couple years ago and I love it so much and so it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Jody asked who are your inspirations either for YouTube content or just in general? So I've already said my favorite YouTubers and they all inspire me but I'm gonna focus on Dodie because she inspires me in my YouTube content and just in life because she talks a lot about mental health and that helps me, you know, with all of my problems. And it also helps me understand other people who have mental health. And I think she's a really big inspiration. She talks about, like, body image, the sexuality, and all her mental health issues. And that really inspires me. And she just spreads positive messages and love. And that's why she inspires me. Okay, um, that was it. I actually had a lot of fun shooting this. I love answering questions and stuff, interacting with you guys. So if you ever want to see another Q&A, let me know. Maybe I'll do it at my next, like, milestone. Um, just let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, that's it. Thank you again for 100 subs. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sadie. Favorite... Am I filming? Yeah. Favorite movie?